YouTube, que pasa? This is BX. I'm here outside in the freezing cold, enjoying a pipe. Um, this video is to uh, Big John. Um, he asked me about how to use uh, crystal kitty litter. You could use crystal kitty litter to um, like, like uh, a humor uh, humor fire in, in cigar boxes. So. This, this video is going to be uh, explaining how to do it. It's very, it's very simple to do. I need one of those cigar stands, uh, one of those pipe stands. Okay. So you need basically three things to do it. You need an old woman's stocking. Not old, but you know, you can buy a new. I mean, it's better if you buy a new. It costs 99 cents, so it's not gonna, not gonna run you nothing crazy. I got one here that I've, I've used a couple times, you know, and uh, you can see I've, I've cut it numerous times. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a knot in the bottom here, just a strong knot, you know, not to be nothing crazy. Yeah. Just make sure nothing's gonna come out. Make sure it doesn't have any runs in it either. All right. So then you take your crystal kitty litter okay very important that it's crystal and very important that it's non fragrant okay because if it's a fragrant uh, cat litter it's gonna leave a bad smell in your cigars or bad taste or bad smell in your cigars so it has to be fragrant free okay and all you want to do is after you do you do the knot in the bottom all right do a little cup like that with your hands. These things last forever. This thing cost this this litter cost me maybe like eight dollars, and I've had it forever. You can see the dust on top, dust on top of it, and everything, because I've had it put away for a while. And that's the good thing about it, man. You, you buy that once, and you don't have to worry about that ever again. So you, the amount you use is the. It all depends on how much. Um, how big is the um, container that you're going to be, the humidor or the um, tub of door? I use a tub of door. Tub of door or tub of door? I use a tub of door. So that's why it matters how, um, how big it's gonna be. And then, see here? This is for a small one. You, you can put a little bit more in there. Just weigh it down a bit like that. And then just. Excellent right there. That's what it is. Um, yeah, it's a little ugly, you know, but you could also get um, the nice little There's some nicer bags you can get in the nice cent store, you know, you can get those too. Just don't the the, 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 the the only thing it matters is that it could breathe. It could breathe through it, you know So There it is right there There it is. That's the finished product so then I just cut it right here. I'm using my K bar, big brother, to cut it. This is this knife is epic. Um, as you see, I just I just it's just in a uh, collection item for me. It doesn't have one scratch on it, and I had a long time. You know, I live in the, I live in the Bronx, New York, so and I'm not much of a camper. And even if I was gonna go camping, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't even bring something this big. But I'm gonna use it to cut it. And I cut a little bit too short. You can leave a little bit. You can leave a little bit more there. And there you go. That's 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 what basically it. So you'll take some distilled water and you pour it on right on there just like this. The water, the make a little divot there so you can soak it up. All right. 
All right, so it's not letting me do it like this. So just put it in a, a container. Flat it out a little bit. And you see? Can you hear that? You can hear the you can hear the you can hear the crystals expanding. And then you just you hear that? That's the water that's the, the, the crystals taking the water in. Alright? Soak it up a little bit more. Make sure it's in there. Hear that? All right, and then just keep moving in and soaking it in there. All right. Then you take this and you put it like in a paper towel so it can soak up the excess water on it, and that's it. You throw this in any hu uh, humidifier. I don't know, I mean, you could throw this in any humidor or uh, tub of door. And it'll keep 65 to 70 percent humidity all the time. When when you feel it's a little dry, you add a little bit more water, and that's it. And if, if you feel like if you see that it's over humidified, just leave it open, let it come back down again. So that's it. That's the kitty litter humidifier. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Later.